Farrow with the Farrow Law Firm. Today we're going to talk about the new Ladybird deeds here in Georgia and why they're great if you want your kids to hate you. A Ladybird deed is a legal document that allows a property owner to retain full control over their property but allow someone else to inherit it if they were to pass away without having to go through the probate process. Technically it's something called an enhanced life estate deed. It's different from a regular life estate deed in the sense that with the enhanced life estate deed, the property owner retains full control over it while they're still alive. The name Ladybird Deed doesn't actually come from the place that a lot of people think it comes from. It doesn't have anything to do with Ladybird Johnson, who was the wife of former President Lyndon Johnson. Instead, it was a, a Florida lawyer who coined the phrase Ladybird Deed when he was explaining, I think in the early 80s, what a Ladybird Deed was, and he used a person named Ladybird as an example, and that phrase stuck. Currently, there were only six states that would even allow a Ladybird deed, but now there are seven because Georgia allowed it as of July 1st of 2024. So a lot of people think that a Ladybird deed is a great way to avoid probate because typically the home is the biggest asset that has to go through probate. With the Ladybird deed, they think that they can name their children as beneficiaries to it and it'll avoid the probate process when that person passes away. But there are a lot of issues with Ladybird deeds that we're gonna go over here today. Uh, and if you were to use one, why your children may end up hating you after it's all over. Avoiding probate. Many people wanna use a Ladybird deed to avoid probate for their family. And that's the main reason that they choose the Ladybird deed. But I can tell you that is a terrible reason if that's the only reason for you to use a Ladybird deed to leave your uh, assets to your children without having to go through probate. I've talked to a lot of colleagues over this and a lot of them have told me that their clients actually would have preferred to go through probate than have to deal with the issues with a bad Ladybird deed, which is very easy to do. The first reason it's a bad idea to use a Ladybird deed to leave your home to your children when you pass away is because you don't know what the future is gonna be like. You don't know when that day comes, whether one of your children is gonna be going through a divorce. You don't know if one of your children is gonna be facing issues with creditors. You don't know if one of your children has found themselves in a nursing home. And you really don't know what those things are gonna be like because for the most part, you don't know the day that you're gonna pass away. If you knew the day that you passed away and what the world was going to be like when that happened, it'd be much easier to plan these types of things. But because you don't know the future and what the circumstances are going to be, a ladybird deed is a bad way to leave the home to the children because of all those issues the children may be facing when that day comes. It's just something that people don't think of when those things happen. I mean, just think about it. If your daughter were to be going through a divorce, well, the first thing you think of is, oh, I need to change the deed to my home. Over the years, people typically just don't always come in and change their documents, their deeds, when something like that happens. So there are other mechanisms like a will or a trust that can address those situations where you don't have to come in and update if those situations were to arise. But the Ladybird deed won't help you in that regard because if they're facing those types of issues, well, the Ladybird will just, uh, deed will just be given to them uh, so that uh, they own the property when you pass away. The second reason you wouldn't want to use a ladybird deed to leave your home to your children is because maybe when that day comes, the children just don't want it. Uh, I've been doing this for a long time and believe it or not, more times than not, the children don't want mom and dad's home. Uh, maybe they have a home here and they're not going to move into mom and dad's home. Maybe they live out of state and they're not moving back to Georgia. Uh, maybe there's something wrong with the home, like it's contaminated for some reason, or perhaps it's got a mortgage that they're upside down in, and they just don't want the property. If you were to leave the home to your children in a will or a trust, they'd have the opportunity to disclaim the property. In other words, they wouldn't have to accept it. Uh, maybe, again, there's reasons they wouldn't want to accept it. Maybe there's something wrong with the property, like it's environmentally contaminated and, and they wouldn't want it, so they can disclaim it saying, we're not going to take it. 
Uh, the problem with the ladybird deed is that it doesn't give them that option. If you have a ladybird deed and you leave it to your children, uh, if it has a mortgage on it that it's upside down on, or perhaps there is something environmentally uh, contaminated about the property, uh, they're not going to be able to turn it away. The life estate deed, ladybird deed, will push that property onto them whether they want it or not. Although there are many reasons why you wouldn't want to use a ladybird deed to leave your home to your children, one of the biggest reasons is that you just can't control the property after you pass away. Imagine this scenario. You have two children and one of those children were to pass away. What happens to the deceased child's share when you pass away? I'm gonna guess that many of you will say, well, the deceased child's children will receive that share of the property. But then again, many of you may say, well, no, the children won't receive that property. It'll go to the surviving child so that the surviving child inherits the whole property. Well, the problem is we just don't know. Oftentimes these ladybird deeds are so imprecise, they don't address those situations. But a will or a trust can address those situations as to what would happen if one of them were to pass away. Would it pass to the surviving child? Would it pass down the tree to the grandchildren? Those are things you cannot accomplish with a ladybird deed, and that's why it's a bad idea to use one if you want to leave your home to your children when you pass away. Here's a bonus reason as to why you wouldn't want to use a ladybird deed to leave your home to your children. Now, remember that scenario I used just a minute ago where you had two children and one of them passed away? Imagine the one that passed away had two children of their own, so you have two grandchildren. Well, when you pass away, if it were to pass to those grandchildren, all of a sudden your home is owned by your surviving child and the two grandchildren of your deceased child. All of a sudden, those three people are owning the property. The grandchildren may not have the personal attachment to the home that your surviving child has, but all of a sudden, because they are an owner of the home, they have a lot of say in what happens to that property. So for example, questions like, you know, are they gonna sell the property or are they gonna keep it? Uh, are they gonna use a realtor? Well, which realtor are they gonna use? Are they going to ask, uh, what's the listing price gonna be? Who's gonna set that listing price? Just all of these issues that are going to be faced between the two new grandchildren owners and the surviving child owners of the property. And believe you me, if they're not uh, able to work out these issues, it's gonna cause a lot of strife within the family. Uh, do you think the grandchildren are gonna really appreciate their uh, uncle or aunt that's uh, their surviving child dictating those terms of, of property, uh, what's gonna happen to it, uh, but you know, all of a sudden those two children, they own 66% of the property, they own the majority of the property, and it's gonna be very difficult for the surviving child really to do anything with it. For that reason alone, it's better to use a will or a trust to leave your home to your children rather than using a ladybird deed. All right, so that's really all we have to offer for today. So make sure you subscribe to the channel because we put out new videos almost every day. And make sure you hit the like button because, hey, every like helps.